This is Craig with Karshalton Advisory. Today we're going to work through the Objective 1.1 practice tasks for the Microsoft Excel Expert 77727 Core Exam. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is open up an Excel workbook by clicking the Excel icon. They've asked us to open up a blank workbook, and we can do that two ways. The first is by selecting the icon here in this page. The other thing we can do is just hit the Excel key on our keyboard, and that's automatically going to open up a blank workbook for us. We know it's a blank workbook. Microsoft has named it Book 1 for us up at the top. And what they would like us to do is save the document uh, as my blank. So we can save this in a couple of ways. Um, we can use, in this case, we can use the, the disk icon, which selects Save. We can go into the File menu on the ribbon. And underneath here, there is also a save option. The third way we can do that is by hitting Control S with our keyboard. And that also brings up the save dialog. So let's do that. We will uh, put it in our Excel 1.1 folder. And I'm going to call this my blank, just as they've instructed us. And then I need to hit save or hit enter in order to save it. You'll notice at the top, the name of our do uh, document has changed. Our workbook is now called my blank. Next, in this same workbook, we're going to display the new page of our Backstage view. So in order to do that, we're going to go to File to get into our Backstage view. Once we've done that, we're going to highlight New. And it has come up with our list of templates again. Now we need to look for an online template. And if we search the phrase that is in the textbook, no results will come up. So what I'm going to just type in is Mortgage Calculator. And we will see a couple options pop open. None of the ones are the ones that they used in the example, but for the purposes of this practice, they should be fine for us. So all I need to do is click on that and, uh, it, and select Create, and it'll open up this document for us. Now that we have done this, we need to create a workbook based upon this template. So we are going to save this in the same practice file, and we're going to call it My Calc. So I'm going to hit Control S to save it. Okay, we will choose the same folder, and I am going to call this my calc, and hit enter to save, and that wraps up this second task. For our second task, what we need to do is to open up the Excel 1-1 workbook. There's a couple of ways that we can do this. First, we can go into our file menu, and once we're in here, we can click open. The other way that we can do it is with our keyboard. And by hitting Control O, it also brings up that same open dialog box for us. So now that we're in here, we're going to navigate to where we have our Excel 1.1 workbook. I've put mine in this Objective 1 folder. And when I look at this list, Excel 1.1 is near the top. In order to open it, I'm going to double click on it. Or I could click on it once and then select Open at the bottom. I suspect most of us will just double click on the file that we're interested in. And that will now open it up for us. So now we have two workbooks open. We have Excel 1.1, which we've just opened. We also have the My Blank folder, which we used in our first step. Next, we need to rearrange the source data worksheet. At the bottom, you'll see a number of tabs with different names on it. The first one in the list is called Source Data. And we've been asked to move it so it's the last worksheet in the workbook. I'll show you a couple ways to do this. First, and easiest, and, and probably most common, is that if you just click on this and drag, it's going to reorganize the order of these folders at the bottom. I'm going to adjust this just a little bit so you can see it easier. And I'm going to make this a little wider. So when I click on this, all I need to do is drag it over. And now it's at the end. So that's one option. A second option, I'll show you here really quick. If I right click on the tab name with my mouse, there's an option that says move or copy. I can select this. And in this case, all I need to do is collect, click where I would like that to end up at. In this case, I'm going to hit move to end and click OK. And sure enough, you'll see that source data has now been moved all the way to the right. 
I'll start this over again, show you one last way, and this is using the ribbon. Uh, in this case, what we want to do is hit Home. In our ribbon, we are going to hit Format, and we are going to move down to Move or Copy Sheet. Once we do that, we get the same document dialog box that we had previously. Lastly, I can do that by using my keyboard and not even having to move my hand to the mouse. And I'm going to do that by hitting Alt, our Alt key, H for Home, O for Format, M for Move. Now I have this. I can just arrow down, move to End, and hit OK. So that wraps up that step for us. Next, we need to add a copy of source data to the Open My Blank Workbook. And we want it as the first worksheet in the workbook. So what we'll do here, I'm just going to right click on source data. You'll notice that it says move or copy here. I'm going to select this option. Once I'm in here, you'll notice at the top here, it says to book. In this case, the book that we are currently in is open, but we can click this drop down, and now it gives us additional options. One is we can move it to a new book. Two, we can move it to the my blank. And th three is the original one we started with. So in this case, we want to move it to my blank. And they've asked us to use it as a copy. So we will create a copy. Click OK. And it's automatically going to have it right in front of sheet one. So we'll click OK. And now we have my blank highlighted. There are two tabs, sheet one, which was there already, and source data, which is what we've been asked to move. So this wraps up the practice task, but I'm going to record an extra video here because going through the guidelines, there are four uh, learning objectives for this chapter, but practice tasks only for three of them. So in the next bonus video, I've come up with a, a custom video to show you how to accomplish and understand the fourth objective, which is importing delimited data. So make sure if you thought this was worthwhile, you select like, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. This is Craig with Carshalton Advisory.